Professor Vuitton, and we're here with the COVID-19 lockdown. We're doing a little bit of survival training for you guys to enjoy. We're going to be dealing with a chasse frontal and a peri chasse as a block. You have to realize this is not books with this survival, so I'm not going to be like this already. I'm walking. I'm in zero zone. I get, I get into a confrontation. The person steps back and gives me a chasse frontal or a front thrust or a kick of that nature. And this is how we take care of it with a peri chasse block, okay? Or peri chasse is not a block, it's, it's one of the deflections. All right, so first I'm gonna explain what a chasse frontal is. Chasse frontal comes in, okay? He's gonna hit with a heel. In this position is a chasse frontal. If he goes sideways, this is a chasse lateral. So understand the difference. Can I do a peri chasse of a front, for a frontal on a lateral? No, I can't, okay? So you have to recognize when you're training what the kicks are and how you deal with them. That's part of your training, okay? I see a lot of people training in Salat and go, front kick, left kick, right kick, rear kick, turn kick. Let's get back to the basics. Learn where the kicks are, learn what your blocks and your parries are, learn how to achieve before we can go any further. <clears throat> so as he comes in, right here, that's number one. Next, comes in, okay, comes in, okay, comes in, okay. I always want to be watched with the chassis, see? I'm not moving, I'm here. All right, so he comes in. Bang. 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 See, I'm not moving my legs. So I'm not doing this. Back and then come forward. I'm already taking away what I'm supposed to be doing there. Okay? He comes here, it's a fight. What is it? What is it? Whatever I want, right? So next time, practice. Remember the forearm. Parachute. Peace. 